Hi, I'm the Tipsy Gypsy, and thanks for tuning in again to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about vintage bracelets, and I'm going to show you some vintage bracelets. And like all of my other videos, everything that you see is uh, I'm selling. I'm trying to put myself through school. So um, I just want to dive right in because I've been telling you all I was going to do vintage bracelets for a while, and I haven't. So anyway, my first one. I'm going to show you this vintage bracelet. This is probably from the 1980s when they had everything that was kind of chunky and gaudy and big and fluffy. But this is just really a neat looking bracelet. Um, it clips on like this. It's got a little spring on the back. And I like this because I like the chunky. I, I like the substance to it. And it is made of plastic. You can see that it's just a really, it's a nice... I would say kind of like a raspberry or fuchsia color. And that's just a, it's a really, a, a, like I said, it has a spring in the back and it'll fit just about any wrist. And that's just a really, it, it just adds a splash of color to your outfit. So anyway, and here is another one. And this one is probably from the 1940s. If you can see this here, it's got a, just a beautiful, on the end there you can see it's it's studded with rhinestones and it's on a silver kind of a rectangular shape and these are it's really heavy um, a lot of substance to this the pearls there's really a lot of substance it's this is one of the heavier bracelets that I've ever a pearl bracelets that I've ever seen and if you can just look here it just goes in like that that's how you clasp it let me see if I can do that. You just put this, if you can see that hole right there, and this just slides right in there to close. Anyway, that is, uh, that's that bracelet. Beautiful. I don't know if I gave you a close-up enough. Let me show you a little bit more. See how close that is there? I mean, how pretty that is. Rectangular, and you can just see the rhinestones. Anyway, it's a really pretty bracelet. Anyway, and I like these. These, I remember growing up with these. My mom used to wear these all the time, and they're springy, and they will fit just about any wrist, give you a nice splash of color. And this one here has, like, um, I would say kind of like a peach, and then a deep... Uh, kind of a burgundy color and then just a barely off white there and then it's got the little ones in between and this will fit like I said just about any wrist because it's got this little spring action going on there and I just love that bracelet that is really a cute lots and lots of color and along the same lines as that is is uh, this orange one here and it's kind of the same idea. You just wrap it around your wrist like this and just gives you a little splash of color. And this is going to be really great to wear like in the summer. You could wear it with a bathing suit. It's, it stores easily and it'll fit any wrist. And it's really, I'm trying to look at the color and it's really kind of an orangey, almost like a marble. You can see the marbling in there. And then it's got the little gold beads in between just a really really cute bracelet I, I really like that one and this one here is probably from the 1970s it's a scarab if you can see the they are all like green let me see are they yeah they're all the same but it's on like a, a gold tone how they used to do the settings back then and these are just really cute little sc carved scarabs and it's like a green marbled but anyway you could see how cute this would be wearing it on your wrist nice little bracelet and the clasp is one of those that you use this type of you can see how that is. You've all done those. <laughs> those are frustrating. I don't like doing those. They're very frustrating. Uh, it's really nice if you have somebody who can help you put it on. Otherwise, 
I, I have a friend who can do it. She never has any problems at all doing that, but I always struggle with getting, holding that open and trying to get it on my wrist at the same time. And here's another one. I really like this one. This is, it's just got all kinds of different, you can see the oval cabochons and the really pretty carving into the, try to see what color this is. Looks like it's, it's silver. I don't think it's sterling silver, but nevertheless, it's just beautiful. And you could just see the all different color stones in there. And they do feel like plastic. Uh, let me see here. How does this work? I've never worn this before because it, it, I don't know how that works exactly. But you don't put your hand through it because it's too small. So it comes apart somehow. Anyway, it's obviously very secure. And uh, I just, I really like the carving. Little flowers carved in there. And they're raised, as you can see. They're raised above that. Just a really, really cool looking bracelet. I'll go with just about anything with all the color. And this is one of my all-time favorites. I really like these. These are the elastic-like ones. And this is from the 1940s. It might be 1950s as well. But these, you just put your hand through it like that, and it clings to your wrist. And I like this one because I have really small, really thin wrists and so everything is always big and moves around and so I tend not to wear a lot of uh, like wrist watches and bracelets because I don't like them. A lot of people like the when they move around and especially if they can put you know multiple bangles on there. I'm not crazy about that. I like the kind that cling to it but you can see the rhinestones in this are all very brilliant. They're all I looked through it earlier and I did not see a single dead stone in there. Dead means that the light has gone out of it and it's just kind of dull, looks opaque. But these are very sparkly. Anyway, I, I really like this. That's one of my favorites. But anyway, I know this is a short video this time around, um, but I just wanted to kind of give you a peek at some of my vintage uh, bracelets. And I really am... I'm, so thankful that you're watching and if you would click below and like and subscribe and if you would up in the right hand corner you uh, click on that notification button if you want to be notified when I upload a new video and I appreciate you watching I'm going to be doing a bunch more uh, videos on all kinds of things jewelry clothing all vintage I used to have a vintage clothing store that I closed and so I'm also going to be going through my garage which is where everything is being stored, probably since the 1990s. And I'm going to be going through box by box and showing you each piece, which also is going to include, like I said, jewelry, because I, I it wasn't just a vintage clothing store. I had antiques and collectibles. But I'm going to go through piece by piece. They're all going to be for sale. Send me a private message or make a comment below if you're interested. And real quick, I just want to show you one of my favorite pins. It is, and it's a very old one, and it's a cameo, and I have it. We were talking about how to wear vintage and that you don't have to have the whole outfit that's vintage. You can just have one little piece. Well, there's my one little piece, my little pin on my, this is a actually just a, a collar. It's a, like a shawl, and I wrapped it around, and I just put this there, and it's simple. You don't need a lot of, of a whole, you know, you know, every piece does not have to be vintage. You can just have one nice piece on. And anyway, this is a perfect example, perfect example of what I was talking about, wearing just one piece at a time to accent your outfit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in again, and uh, I'll see you next time.